hello guys welcome to the flying automation channel from today we are start learning about excel automation a step by step so in this video we will learn about read write read write activity in ui path and also see how to read data from excel and how to write data in excel file so let's go to the ui path studio and see the example so here i am created already our own program so i will explain you this program what I did here. So you can see here I'm using the one activity that is Excel a scope, Excel application a scope activity. Uh, this, uh, this activity using when you are uh, working on a one Excel file. So if you are using this activity, so only use the Excel activities only, not the workbook activities. So I will uh, show you who is the Excel activity and who is the workbook activity in Excel. So you can see here you can see the uh, this is the workbook activity and this is the excel activity here you can see if you all the activity here you are read read range workbook activities there is a read and workbook activities and read range here uh, read range excel activities this is the excel activities and the this is a workbook activity. So you can see uh, in the end, write uh, written there who is Excel activity and which is the workbook activity. So in Excel scope, in application scope, I'm using the Excel activities for reading the data and also writing the data. So here I'm using two activity, read and write activity. Using read activity, uh, I'm reading data from the Excel file. So in this activity, you can see the property. Here I'm uh, written the seat name where I uh, taken the data from. And also, uh, here create a one variable. Uh, there is a output variable. Uh, so I'm creating here the data DT, data table. And you can also see the here uh, option in the option add headers. If you want to also want the headers name, so you check on this field. If you don't want, uh, don't check on this field. So this is the read range activity. After that, you can see here I'm using the write range activity. So in the write write range activity, so here I'm using providing the seat name. In the read range, I'm providing the seat name one, and in the write range, I'm providing the seat two. So input seat is this, and output seat is this, seat one and seat two. So here I'm providing the data name, uh, data table name, uh, coming from the uh, this activity. So this is the program you can run. There. After that, I uh, you another you uh, for another another case, I'm using here a uh, write range activity. If you want to writing the same uh, uh, same Excel file, so then you can use this. If you uh, if you uh, want to uh, write in the another file, so you can use the write range workbook activity. So I am taking the input from input file. You can see here in the Excel scope activity. I'm uh, here taking a path of input data dot xlx, and you can see here I'm taking in, uh, uh, written in the output dot xlx. So where I'm creating these uh, files, so I will show you the files. So this is the input files and this is the output file. So output file, I'm uh, deleting the output files here. So there is no output files. And the input files you can see here. Uh, here two seats, seat one and seat two. So I'm deleting the seat two because we are uh, after running this program, we create this seat. So only here the seat one in this file. Okay, I'm saving this file and deleting it. So you can see here, I'm running the program. You can see the output after running this program. Our process is completed so you can check the output file here so this is input file and output file is also generated so we'll see the output so it, it is coming correct or not so you can see here it is coming correct so here you, you can uh, you, you don't see the header uh, header names here only the name is and the date of birth so you're not coming the headers so i will show you
in the input seat you can see here header is also coming and seat 2 is created and this is a seat 1 where i am taking the input and seat 2 is the output where i am writing the data so after that you can see uh, uh, in the uh, another work, uh, workbook output workbook uh, not written the uh, header names because we are not trying uh, checking this field so when i am check this field so also write the uh, headers so i hope you understand uh, this act these activities so if you have any query please write your query in the comment section uh, that's it for today we will meet in the next video thanks for watching this video